But never have I ever, ever stepped into the presence of a woman that nobody even know about. Told me some stuff from 11 o'clock. We took a break, went and got some to eat, came back and started over again. And the next, on that Saturday, I was with David Amalos. I was in the car with him. Now how she, in the story, and then she gets, she knows I'm in the car with David. She's two hours away and, she, and began to finish the prophecy to nail everything. Y'all better quit blaming stuff on God. Amen. And guess what she kept saying? 100%. 100%. Not a worry. Either 100% for God or not 100%. Amen. Amen. But let me tell you, y'all, listen to me. God is watching everything that you do. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something with God. Please hear me. Don't get upset with me. God, I'm going to hear your dumb, stupid excuses why you don't come to service. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. You really don't want to hear it. We've been church like we skip school. I understand you just got vacation time. But we want God to bless us, but we sure ain't faithful. Are oh, you hear me? No. Y'all say y'all love God? Yeah. Amen. 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 You got Psalm 18? Yeah. Verse 1. <coughs> Watch this now. I will love thee, O oh Lord, my what? Strength. About to eat my strength. He's my strength. The Lord is my what? Rock. Rock. And my what? Force. And my what? Deliverer. God is my what? Strength. And who I trust. Everybody say, he's my strength. He's my strength. strength. You got to start saying this every day. God, you are my strength. God, you are my strength. Because that's the thing you can't do on your own. You know what grace means? Strength. God, you are my grace. You are my grace. You are my grace. You are my grace. God, you are my grace. Every single day, you're my strength. Because you know what, brothers and sisters, listen to me. And, 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 and when we together, we are holy and righteous. Mm -hmm. Don't ever pay attention to this one. When we hear, all we put on the show, I love Jesus. But when you get away from this place, the real you come out. That's true. That's true. The nastiness, the dirtiness, the cussing come out. Every bit of that stuff God is watching. You watch it. He seen you come to church and oh, I'm about my and worship the Lord. And then all of a sudden you cussing each other out. And then you say God called you in the ministry. I think not. And he said, I can't even find you faithful. Yeah. <coughs> I'm telling you, watch this stuff. Because the same stuff you do in the dark come out in the open. You can be ministry and a cuss word to come out of you. Because you didn't deal with it, you didn't get rid of it. Okay. I've been around people. They'll be ministers and all of a sudden cuss words come out of their mouth. Because they never dealt with the cussing. They never dealt with it. Are you here today, church? Yes. We've got to get a right or get a left. Everybody say, God is my healer. I'm going to prove it to you too tonight. Go over to Psalms 46. I tell you, he got me doing stuff that I used to do when I first got saved. That's praying two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, and two hours in the evening. This has been a glorious week this week, I'm telling you. Amen. My God in heaven. I was sitting in my chest singing in the Holy Ghost, singing in tongues, and he let me interpret. He let me interpret what I was singing. In English. Praise God. It was Praise absolutely God. marvelous. Amen. The thing that the Holy Spirit was saying to God came out in English. Now, what I was praying, saying in the tongue, and it had to come out in English. And you should hear what the Lord was saying, Holy Ghost was saying out of me. Amen. It's mind blowing. Mind blowing. Oh, Jesus. You everybody got it? Right. Psalm 46. Come on, sister, read it for me. Which verse? Verse 1. God is our refuge and strength and very present help in trouble. Oh, look what he said. He is my what? Refuge. And my what? Strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. In other words, I'm your help when you're in trouble. I'm your refuge and I'm your strength. Amen. Y'all miss a good chance to shout the Lord. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. That's who God is. You get that, David? Very present. In other words, this is what we're doing. Hey, God, come over here. I'm right here. I'm going to prove it to you. Amen. Amen. I'm right here. Yep. All you
you need, I'm right here. I'm right there. I, just ask me. We don't look at God this way. I talked to God the other day. He said, my people really don't believe me. They really don't believe me. He said, my minister, they told me, even that's part of you don't believe me. Oh, my goodness, you're talking about some of you. Y'all see y'all here? Yeah. yeah. Look at verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted amongst the heathen, I will be exalted amongst the earth, in, in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The, God. the God of who? Jacob is our what? Refuge. Everybody say he's my refuge. He he's my refuge. That's who God is. Yeah. He said, be still and know that I am God. Amen. Another word he said, watch me. Ha <laughs> ha! God, watch what I can do. Are y'all here tonight? Yeah. 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 That's going to be the Psalm 121. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Hallelujah. Are y'all get this tonight? Yes. yes. Oh, I love this one. Oh, this is so, this is so awesome. I know, you know, everybody in the church know this one, but act like you never heard it before. Okay. <laughs> then you'll get something. Verse 1. I will lift up my eyes until they heal. From which come my what? Help. Everybody say, he's my help. He's my help. help. My help come from who? The Lord, Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not mm -hmm. slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel neither sleep nor slumber. And so many people say God rested. God went to sleep like God went to sleep on the seventh day. He did not go to sleep. Praise God. He's a spirit. He cannot sleep. Amen. God. He cannot sleep. You better look at that rest and what it really means. <laughs> we think he means rest, go to sleep. That ain't what he's talking about. No. Enter to his rest, enter to that peace, enter to that confidence, enter to that belief that you really believe me and you trust me. He said, enter to that. Amen. Amen. Well, y'all here, church. Praise God. Yes. The Bible says he neither sleep nor slumber. Hallelujah. Demons cannot sleep. They're spirits. That's right. They're not flesh. If you don't believe me, who would have torment dreams sometimes? Right. You sleep and you got a torment dream. Why? Because they can't sleep. Demons torment you day and night. Day and night. Wow. But God, see, Homer don't sleep either. The Holy Ghost don't sleep. <laughs> Are y'all with me? Amen. Amen. Show me one scripture in the Bible where God would sleep. In fact, I can show you in the Bible where he's trying to get disciples just pray for them just one hour. Mm -hmm. And look at the book. Look what the book say now. They fell asleep. It should have been written something else. I believe God was about to show them guys something and they fell asleep. How many times you and I fall asleep on the things of God? Are oh, you happy, church? Ooh. You just don't know how God been talking to me in the last three or four weeks. Y'all just don't know. You don't know the kind of time I've been spending with my Jesus. That's why I've been hanging out with y'all. Forgive me, but I can't right now. Because he got me in a vein, got me in a zone right now. I can't be locking myself in the house and just crying out to God. Crying out to God. Get up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning every morning, worshiping God. And then this about 2 or 3 hours, we get up and did, did, did. Later on that day, you do it again. And then in the Word, in the Word, in the Word. Because God showed me the Son. You don't, you, don't, you don't know what I'm about to do to you. You just don't know. But guess what I do? I have to pray and find out what he wants me to do now. I've been telling God, I said, God, I'll never want to sit in the pulpit and preach what I want to preach. Amen. The Holy Ghost, you are my teacher. Amen. You are my teacher. Amen. When he, the spirit of truth, that comes and guide you to all the truth, he should not speak for himself, but whatever he is, that's what he speaks. And he's going to show you things of the Father, the things of the mind, and reveal unto you. That lady down there blew my doors off. I've been in a zone since Friday. Some of the stuff she said. Y'all say y'all love God tonight? Yes. Everybody say God loves me. God, God loves, loves me. me. And he does. He really does. Psalm. Amen. Let me go over here. Go me to Psalm 24. Psalm 124. I'm sorry. Psalm 124. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Glory to God. 
Everybody got it? Yes. Come on, sister, go. Verse 1. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick. Now when, watch this for a minute. When their wrath Wait, was hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Watch this. If it had not been for God on this side, they would have swallowed up guys up quick. Yeah. But God of their defense. God of their rescue. Mm -hmm. God of their protection. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all hear me, church? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Keep going, sister. Keep going. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul, then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Lord. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Verse 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Oh, my Praise goodness. Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord. What God did. Did y'all ready to see that? Did y'all ever see what he was saying? If God had not been there, they'd have got it. No weapon formed against me will prosper. That's right. Amen. But if God hadn't been there, they'd have got it. Mm -hmm. When you sleep, God's still working on your behalf. But we don't see God like that. We think when we go to sleep, he goes to sleep too. Mm -hmm. He's not. He's like my beloved sweet sleep. Mm -hmm. He said, we lay down, don't be afraid of sudden terror. Because I'm there. God is there. Amen. Not only that, the same spirit that raised Christ to the dead dwells in you. Quicker you know about it. Guess what? That spirit is in you too. The Holy Spirit is in you. The Holy Spirit will tell you when some demon is coming to your room trying to attack you. <laughs> if you start praying in tongues every day and worshiping God, God's going to reveal what's coming in your house. Amen. When you start letting junk come in your house, guess what? The dad is the father. You're the keeper. You're the doorkeeper. What you let in your house, you can't blame nobody but yourself. Right. Because you're the daddy. You're the watchman. You let cussing come in your house. You let all that junk come in your house and all that crazy stuff. God don't look at the wife. God look at you. You're the man of the house. He look at you. You don't want to stop this junk coming in your house. No, you can't get no religious spirit come in my house. No craziness to come in my house. No cussing, no smoking, no drinking. You can't come in my house in Jesus' name. You can't let it. When you let it come in your house, you can let the devil come in. Well, you don't understand. That's my daughter. That's my son. I got news for you. They're living like junk. You better say something. Say, hey, you can come in my house, but that spirit in you can't come in, so you better get clean. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Amen. Are you hear me, church? Yep. Yes. Don't get all freaked out. You don't love God tonight? Yeah. Love God. I had to be myself on care for two people. I told God that tonight. I said, God, I don't care if two people showed up. I'm going to preach what you told me to preach. I'm not going to change my style because there ain't no crowd here. This is the way God gave it to me, and this is the way I'm going to do it. Everybody go to Exodus. The Exodus. I mean, Exodus. Well, how do you say that? Exodus. There you go. <laughs> I used to call it the Exodus. <laughs> <coughs> Chapter 15. Chapter 15. What a mighty God we serve. You know what the lady told me? I gotta tell you this. She said, You can ask God. God, I've been to some places and you showed up and you healed. And you did this. But here recently I've asked God. I said, God, why these people didn't get healed? You know what God told me? You no, know, that's what she said. Because they ain't hungry enough. He said, I'm gonna send you to people, I'll send you to people that is hungry. They ain't hungry enough to get their healing. They ain't thirsty enough to get their healing. You gotta get hungry. Amen. Praise Lord. Lord. But he said, I'm going to sin. He said, I'll tell you, you think the Lord don't know everything you ever prayed in your whole life? Mm -hmm. He reminded me of prayers that I prayed when I first got saved. <clears throat> this is why you need to pray, Father. Send me to church with what they are hungry and they're thirsty. God, send me to the distant one. <clears throat> Every time I went to those churches, he showed up. Mm. And, and the lady said some stuff to me even about this church. Because I really got frustrated here. I got so frustrated here. I said, God, you got people don't even come to church. You got people, you teach them, you tell them what to do, you tell them what to do, and they ain't doing it. You tell them to resist, tell them to bind them. Bind them, that's what you tell them, you tell them. And I said, God, they're talking, 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 talking. I got frustrated. I'm getting ready to get out of here. Don't you? And the woman's brought on the 
messed stuff up. She never seen me in my life. But you're here in church. Amen. And I've been to places where you preach so easy and everybody received. You end up staying three or four weeks and the church is backed out every single night. People even standing outside trying to get in. Mm. I've been in those kind of meetings. Why you hear me, church? Oh, you come here, I mean, I've been in here, I come here sometimes and they're all outside. You got people standing here tonight, standing outside, they can come in. They here. Why? Because they ain't hungry. And guess what God showed me? He took out of that woman. He said, those that don't receive from you, leave them on the side of the road. Amen. 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 But before he even told me that, two days before that, he gave me a scripture. He said, whatever city and house you go to, they're going to receive you, shake the dust off your feet. Right. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he showed me. Uh, Y'all, please don't get upset with me. He showed me all these big spiritual babies here. Spiritual babies. I said, what do you mean spiritual babies? He said, because they ain't sticking to it. This is not to beat y'all up, beat y'all down. This is, this is to you up. I said, God, don't let me miss you. Don't let me miss this. Because if God brings a woman or a man to teach you how to fight with this devil, if you don't do it and the devil comes to your house, you can't blame the preacher. You can't blame God. That's why I'm so thankful I got saved when I know I ministry. Because he brought the right kind of people in there to teach. Amen. Amen. Oh, you hear me, church? Praise God. Y'all got, got this scripture yet? Mm -hmm. Chapter 15. Oh, look at verse. Look at verse 26. Go ahead, Jeff. 26? Yeah. Oh, watch this now. And it said. If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in His sight, give ear to His commandments and keep all His statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord who heals you. Everybody say, He is my healer. He's my healer. healer. Look what He said if you obey my word. He said that I will not need disease to come on you. Amen. I can show you in the same. And watch, okay, we just go there. Everybody go to Exodus 23. Watch this now. Oh, y'all see y'all love God? Yeah, love God. Glory. Amen. Oh, let me, get, let me make sure I got the first here. Yeah. Oh, watch this now. Somebody say, I love God. I love, I love God. God. This is Old Testament now. Watch this. Look what he's saying. And verse 25, Exodus 23, 25. If you serve the Lord your God, and He will bless the bread and the water, and I will take sickness, from, sickness away from the midst of you. He said, You're serving me, I'm going to take sickness from you. Y'all just missed Thank a good chance to shout glory. glory. Yeah. Look what God's saying. Yeah. If you just serve me, I'll take sickness from the midst of you. I'll bless the bread and the water. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Well, God put no sickness on you. He said, I'll take it from you if you'll just serve me. Mm -hmm. If you'll just serve me, I'll take it from you. Hallelujah. Y'all sure you love God tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I'll Amen. take sickness from the midst of you. How do you serve him? Do what his words say. Do you know what I saw in the Bible? And I took me I saw this and I saw this and I read it. A lot of times we believe God blessed them because of the law. I can show you that it's totally opposite. He blessed them because they heard his voice. They heard his word. And then he said, because you heard my word, he said that all these blessings are going to come and overtake you. He didn't say because you obeyed my law. He said because you obeyed my voice, because you obeyed my word, and all these blessings come up on you. That's scripture. I can show you all through the Old Testament. He blessed because they obeyed his voice, because they obeyed his word. Are oh, you hear me, church? Yes. God did. You obey God's word and watch what happens. Hallelujah. Amen. His boys said, pray for sick people. Pray for them. His boys said, knock on the door. His boys said, worship him. Worship him. His boys said, be obedient. Obedient. Do it. And guess what happened? Then the rest going to start overtaking you. Eventually, they're going to come and overtake you. 
That's why you got to worship. Praise God. You got to worship. Amen. You got to praise Him. You got to thank Him. Yeah. When I was with that lady the other day, I said, Lord, this is so refreshing. Fresh. Because I found and found somebody that worship God like I do in my private time. Mm -hmm. I said, oh my God. Her and I were together. Oh, Jesus. The worship. I mean, she's Spanish. How you say glory, hallelujah in Spanish? How you say it? Gloria, hallelujah. Huh? You say Gloria, hallelujah. Yeah. And she, <laughs> and she would. And she would just, oh, and I, I can know what she's saying. And we got to pray in the Holy Ghost together. Oh my God. I'm telling you the truth, my brother and sister. And once I can tell them, and let me tell you what she, let me tell you what she did. This was crazy. She said, we left at 4 11 in the morning. We got there at 11 that morning. In the next day, the morning before. And she said, Well, I gotta stay up and pray till y'all get home. And when you call me, Marta Bell text me and let me know you got home. She said, God, I gotta stay up and pray because I got other new people coming in. That lady never got tired. Wow. Never got tired. Hallelujah. And I'm sitting there because I think that's for our work. That one thing you do when you get don't play, don't sit down for your eyes start doing this. So I, I start like, she don't want she don't want you to miss God because she said you might never get this opportunity again to be in this present with God. Just took a bad a bamboo stick and start banging the floor to keep your attention. And then she will quiz you what God's saying. Quiz you. I never seen anything like I'm trying to get her up here. Not in this church. Because they, I'm just going to get her. I don't, touch her. I don't, want, I don't want to be in no church when she come. I want her to be in the house. You never seen anything like it. She got an interpreter. You got to have an interpreter. And I'm telling you. And you're going to tell you what's going to happen to you. Same thing happened to me. You're going to go back to your house and you're going to say, Where have I been? Huh. You're going to see how much you miss. You're going to see how, how the devil got you doing this, doing this, doing this, and you think you're doing God a favor. Um, you're going to blow your mind. Yeah. And you, 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 you know what you're going to get? You're going to get this old flicking from the head prophecy. You're going to get prophecy come direct from the throne. If you close your eyes and listen real strong, you can actually hear God speaking out of a woman's mouth. And it's so holy to do what she's told. Oh, never seen anything like it. Hallelujah. My God in heaven. But she told me, God said, You're my biggest diamond. I brought you here to polish you up. Said, You're the diamond in your mother's womb. And he began to tell me things that I'm telling you that me and God had a conversation that same week. So the thing God been showing me in His word. Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. You gotta watch out for the flake that said, God, give them words for you. You better watch out. We just let anybody lay hand on us, let anybody give us a word. Everything that later told me, I went back to the Bible and God showed it in the word. Show it in the word. Anytime somebody give you a word from a from, uh, prophecy, you better go to the go to the Bible. And when God gives you a prophecy, first thing the devil gonna say, it didn't work. <laughs> He's gonna say that. The Bible says you gotta do warfare when you get a word. Well, somebody give you a prophecy, give you a word. Because Satan's going to tell you the opposite. Anytime somebody give you a prophecy, the opposite always takes place. Amen. 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 Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yes. I remember one time when I first got a word, this boy, God going to use you to heal and cast out the devil. Well, the first two years, I didn't see nobody get healed. Nobody. Nobody. No, the devil told me, ha, 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 that was a lie. I went from, that. I went from God, but I kept on doing it. 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 And then when I saw this deformed man, crooked, and walked with a cane, and had a hump in his back, and he tied it up, and I saw God straighten him up, made it normal for everybody. Oh, you have to be faithful. But Brother Sherry gave me a word. You come to the past. Have you been working the word? Have you been watering that word? Have you been feeding that word? Have you been using the word? On the word that you got? Have you been praising? Have you been watching? Have you been giving me thanks? That's how you want the prophecy. Somebody just don't give you a word and just sit around and do nothing. Yeah. You got to know how to work it. Well, you understand, I bring people, I don't feel nothing. Oh, thank you, Jesus, you don't feel nothing. Because it ain't about you, no way. Thanks, God. Oh, you hear me? Hallelujah. 
Something is happening. Something is cooking. Yeah. And sit outside the door. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, something's cooking in the spirit. <laughs> something big is cooking. Because I know how you got me praying now. Is it 100% or not 100%? You probably won't see me the whole month of December. What? You probably won't get to see me the whole month of December. If I know what I got to do. I ain't playing games, church. I'm not playing games. I want to see God move. Amen. And you don't know what kind of prayer I'm praying right now. I ain't praying for a little watered down gospel of revival. Praise God. No, I'm not. Hallelujah. I'm praying for the greatest revival in America history. Amen. Amen. And I know I'm one of the one that God going to use to do this. I know it. Mm -hmm. Well, that lady told me, she said, all the hell you've been going through, all of this and all of this, and God said, but my son, my servant is strong. He didn't quit. He didn't give up. Amen. And she said, most people that went through what you went through would have been out of the service already. But let me tell you something. When the devil attacked you, attack him back. Attack him as hard as he attacked you. Amen. How do you attack him back? With praise. Amen. Crazy praise. Hallelujah. I learned something that bear that lady. I think in my spirit tell me you still you get the shape. Because you know what? When I saw that lady can go that long and never got tired. And I see her come to church and get sleeping and rubbing her eyes, falling asleep. I said, I said, God, we miss it. I was, we are lazy. We are lazy. I said, God, let me tell you my brother. So you ready for this? I can't run a marathon overnight. You got to keep on, keep on, and keep on until you get there. That woman don't pay the price. She's a marathon Christian. She ain't a little sprint Christian. She don't get tired. The spirit of her don't get tired. And when she was six years old, they threw her in the fire. The whole family tried to kill her. She would carry that note at six years old. She would tell the people stuff back then, what's going to happen to her if you do this, do this. And they didn't listen. And some of them died. Six years old. So I'm trying to tell you, God is racing up for people now that ain't playing game. Praise God. Well, y'all hear me tonight. Because yes. I'm telling you, my brother and sister, we play Christians. We're playing it. It's time for us to really get it. Yeah. Either we're going to believe this thing or get out of it. Hallelujah. Are you here, my church? Amen. It's Amen. time to go all the way. But hear what we do. And I'm going to close. Wait for the prophet to come in town. Wait for the band to wait for the teacher, the preacher, the guest speaker to come in. And hear God saying the whole time, <coughs> it's you. I went to a full gospel business meeting the other day. And a big old guy named Meech. Y'all you, you heard of him? He's a black guy about 15, 20 feet tall. <laughs> tall. But Bill, is he big or what? I mean, I'm talking about. I shook his hand, my hand, but like a little kid hand inside of his hand. I looked down at his feet, I was going to say, what size shoe are you wear? No, can't get the shoe, get the box. <laughs> he was so big. And guess what? His testimony is something similar to mine. But he, all of a sudden, he began to say some stuff. I said, Lord, and that lady, wait, wait, let me back up. The lady and told me the other day, she said, God will confirm some things in a few days. You're going to go somewhere in a few days, God will confirm some things that I told you. Yeah. And he will confirm some things that I've been showing you in the Word, and I've been, the things I've been telling y'all. And uh, he got up there, and he said, God asked him, said, where is the kingdom? Where is the kingdom? He said, well, it's not this in, in, uh, in heaven. And, uh, he said, no, no, why is the kingdom? Yeah. He said, that's what he said. He said, it's right here. He said something that I've been saying for years. I tell you, when I go to the youth seminar, I say, every time you walk on the school, every time you walk on your job, the kingdom of heaven just showed up. He said the same thing. The kingdom of heaven just showed up. Mm -hmm. And guess what God showed me? Are you ready for this? My people don't even know about the kingdom.
That's right. Don't even know it. I said, what do you mean, God? He's God that you know it. Can't nothing stop me. Oh, you hear me, church? Y'all see it, Lord? You know, you, know, you know what our problem is? I'll tell you what our problem is. We always minister to each other. But we never go to that body hurt now. We always minister to each other. Christian minister, Christian. But we never go out there while they really hurt. We never get out there and tell the loss. But we are prophesied to each other all day long. Oh, you hear me, church? And this is the last thing I'm going to say. Remember, you remember when Jesus said, My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives to you, but the peace I give unto you, let not your heart be troubled. You know what Jesus just said then? I am your peace. Amen. I am Amen. your peace. You don't want to know that when you got a storm in your life, you don't want to know that can calm a storm. You don't want to know to give you peace in the midst of a storm. I don't care what's going on through your life, <coughs> Jesus can come and give you peace in the midst of a storm. Now, I'm not telling you, listen, God, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm not trying to stay away from y'all if you stay away, but I know what I got to do. I know what I used to go and fast 40 days, no water, no number water and juice, and this is what God has called me to do. To go back to do what you used to do. Go back to that fasting when you cried to me to see my glory, you saw my glory. So for the next 30 days or so, it's just nothing but fasting and praying. No food, just water and juice, praying. Not for serving sure long glory. But then he showed me to live a lifestyle of fasting and praying. Fasting and praying, fasting and praying. Because fasting alone does absolutely nothing. Nothing. <coughs> and know what he say? When you fast it, stay in my word. Stay in the word. I'm going to read a bunch of books. Stay in the word. Stay in the word. I'm not a book reader, no way. I just read the book. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against me reading books. Never have been against me reading books. But that ain't where I got it from. Everything that I know from heaven, I got it out the Bible. All the little that I know about, even the miracles, when and so, I got it out of here. I didn't have no five step, just a twelve step there. I had one step, his name Jesus. Well, oh, you hear me, church. You say you love God. So if y'all call me and say, hey, can you go out for lunch? I'm going to have to say, no, I can't. Hey, can you come over? I can't. Will it be over on December 24th? I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going. It might go to December. It might go all up to January. All I know, I got to get it, God, present, because I know something big about to happen. Amen. And I'm, I'm not talking about just money neither. I'm talking about some soul. Hallelujah. <clears throat> some supernatural stuff. Yeah. Hallelujah. And what he told me is to start leaving me for the miraculous. And then I started looking at the prophecy I got from, from uh, Mother Hazel in Canada. So this year you will operate in a greater power of the Holy Ghost. This is the year of the impossible become possible. I want to tell you something, my brother and sister. If you believe God called you to preach, are you ready for me? You can't get your anointing off the internet. You can't get your message off the internet. You had to get your anointed on your knees. Amen. You had to get your message on your knees. Amen. Watch it. Hey, listen to me. Satan will have you on the internet all day long, and you spent five minutes with Jesus. Amen. Are you here in church? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you what the Lord told me, and I cannot shake this. I want to ask this question to everybody tonight. Are you 100%? Are you 100%? Are you ready to make it? I'm going to ask that question again. Are you 100%? Are you 100%? I'm getting there. Are you 100%? Are you 100%? Are you 100%? Okay, y'all saying yes. I'm going to ask it again. I want you to think about it. Are you 100%? Are you 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%? 100%
100%? Not a seat bit. You get that? 100%? 100%? Working on it. 100% of what? 100% of Jesus. 100% in you, or you 100% in Jesus? No. That's why I say I'm going to come back and ask that question again. When we become 100%, you're dead to the flesh. 100%. And that's what God been telling me. 100%. Give me nothing there. And one of the words I got from Mother Hayden from Canada, she said, line up with the word and not the world. Amen. Amen. And guess what? A ship out in the water is okay, right? But when the water is in the ship, something bad. Yeah. Oh, you hear yeah. me, church? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Christian out in the world is not bad. But when the world gets into Christian, that's bad. Right. Amen. Amen. Um, and a lot of us still got a world in us. If you don't believe me, watch what happens when you get mad. Watch the cussing start rolling out your mouth. You still got a world in you. Are oh, you hear me? Yes. Hey, I'm telling you what Jesus is telling us the church today. Time for us to get right. Amen. And it's going to be there one day at a time. I, this is what God showed me. Now, from am done. He said, the world is watching you. And so are other Christians watching you. That's right. Christians are watching you. See if you're faithful. Hmm. Christians want to have a man or woman on the earth that they can believe in. I believe in that man right there. I believe in that woman right there. I believe in that sister. I believe in that brother. Why? Because they're always faithful. You don't see them missing. They're always in prayer. They're always at church. They're always, always, they're always, they're always, they're always, always, always. But we're not always. Guess what? I don't trust that person. That ain't miss more church than I do. But you hear me, church. Amen. And then the first thing you know, we think, oh, I'm all this and all that. I'm telling you, God, my brother and sister, I'm talking to me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you what God has been showing me for the church. We got to get faithful. We do. We got to get faithful, church. We got to get faithful. Amen. We can't make up no excuses. I'm telling you right now. If you've been making up excuses, and I told God today, yesterday, I said, God, I repent of making up any excuses. Any excuses. Any excuses why I ain't praying. Any excuses, God, for spending more time watching TV than what's been with you. God, forgive me. Amen, church? Amen. Y'all love the Lord tonight? Yes. Everybody stand to your feet, please. Thank you, Lord. You love the Lord. And we praise the Messiah. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, the King of Glory, the Lord of Glory, the I Am that I Am God, the Magnificent One, the Mighty One, the King of Revival, the King of Healing, the King of Deliverance, the King of Miracles, the King of Salvation, the Baptist and the Holy Ghost in Fire. God. Lord, I saw your word today how you wait for us in the morning for us to say something to you. I saw it in your word today, Lord. I pray for this night for that when our eyes open up in the morning, one of the first things we say, Jesus, we love you, we praise you, hallelujah, give you glory. Lord, I pray that we'll go to bed, that the last thing we see before we go to bed at night is the word of God. Yes. Yes. The last thing that we say, I praise the Lord, I worship the Lord. Lord, let this be us. Help us, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I ask that you teach us all things in the Father. Lead us and guide us, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we have left you out. We have left you out. You're here representing God Almighty. You're here representing Jesus. And Holy Spirit, the Bible says you are our help. You are our teacher. You are our counselor. You are our advocate. You are our strength. You are our standby. Praise God. Holy Spirit, forgive us for not depending on you. Yes. So Holy Spirit, I'm asking that this, the rest of this year, and especially next year, that we be men and women of God that know our God. 
in the name of Jesus. That we led by you, Holy Spirit. We move when you move, Holy Spirit. We don't do anything that we know God tells us to do, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, help us to be sensitive in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, teach us how to flow in you, Holy Ghost. And Holy Spirit, don't let us do our own thing from this night forward. Amen. Show us what God wants to be done and help us to fall into God's plan. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, I pray that you give us our holy, righteous hate against sin yes. and against evildoers and against iniquity and against sickness and disease. Give us a hate for it, Father. But put a love in us for people. And Lord, I pray that the healing power you put in us to see people healed, I pray, God, that it's increased. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray this Thanksgiving will be a great, great Thanksgiving. I pray for visitation from heaven. As they begin to bless you for the food, God, I pray that somehow you touch them. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare this now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen.